I'm gonna go get drunk. I beg your pardon, are you Rocco or Bill? Who the hell are you? I'm Mr. Portnoy, Dan Barlow's attorney. I'm here to invite you to the reading of the will. <laughs> That's a good one. Dan had a will. <laughs> I thought it only fair to tell you because all of you were mentioned. What? To decide who gets the uh, toaster oven or pickle forks? <laughs> <laughs> he was worth five million dollars. What? Impossible. Through astute investment and penny pinching, he parlayed his measly pittance of a government wage into quite a sizable portfolio. No shit. Yes, well, I will see you at the reading later today. Bye-bye. Wow. Can you believe it? We're mentioned in Dan's will. We're going to be millionaires. Hooray. <sighs> We're rich. Yeah. Yahoo. Yeah. Dan is dead. <sighs> Happy days are here again. <laughs> yeah. A guy could have. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, uh, boo hoo, you know. Yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> Thank you so much for coming today. Come and join the rest of the group. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the reading of Mr. Barlow's will. Please be seated. <clears throat> hey, Aunt Bambi. I apologize for my behavior at the funeral. I was um, sick with grief. I swear it'll never happen again. Think no more of it. Grief makes us all do odd little things, Rocco. Yes, it does. Why, I was so upset at Dan's death. I shoplifted a purse at Walmart. I know how you feel. I was once nervous about my high school prom, and I strangled the life out of a busload of German tourists. Mm. Hmm? Mr. Barlow thought it best for you to hear his will directly from him. How are you going to do that, huh? A seance? <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly. Hi, guys. I'm dead, and this is my will. And no humping my corpse. Talk about closing the barn door, huh? I, Dan Barlow being of sound mind and body, do hereby bequeath my entire fortune of $5 million to the most deserving people I know. Yes, yes. I leave it to the residents of this halfway house so they may improve their sorry lives. Yes! <laughs> All right! What? <laughs> yeah, yeah! In your face, lady! <laughs> ha! You got nothing! Allow him to finish. But first, you have to prove that you're deserving, and that's why I thought of this contest. Uh, contest? The resident who can show that he loves me the most will win my entire fortune. The others will get nothing. So good luck. No, 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 no! Oh. A contest? That bastard! He can't be serious. That's a novel idea, I must say. Hmm? Novel my ass! This is bullshit! He's fucking us from beyond the grave! Fuck! Well, that was a funny turn of events. <laughs> Dan was mad at us for being lazy, and now he's making his work for his money. <laughs> Yeah, that's a riot. Well, may the best man win, which of course is me. Faking love is my specialty. Well, there's one thing you won't have to fake. And, uh, what's that? Your own death. Because they're going to do that for you. <laughs> it's against the rules to kill each other. Huh? Huh? If anyone dies under mysterious circumstances, the money goes to AIDS orphans. AIDS orphans? Ugh. Those greedy bastards get all the breaks. Portnoy, what are you doing here? As judge of this contest, I'm here to wish you well. May the best man win, etc. And to show you the score so far. Score? Everyone to the living room. Let's look at the tallies, shall we? Cuddles laid a wreath at Dan's grave site for five points. Buttons uh -huh. comforted Dan's family for five points. And Bill gave a five-point toast to the deceased at the <laughs> funeral. Uh, well, what about me? What about me, huh? And lastly, Rocco, you desecrated Dan's corpse. Minus 20 points. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, keep working at it, fellas. Go out there and do loving things for Dan. I'll be watching. Hmm. Say, not too bad.
Shouldn't take long to make short work of you, chumps. Yeah, dream on, pal. The only winner of this is gonna be me. You guys can do what you want. I'm dropping out. What? Competing to show how much we love Dan is sick. I'm going on a hunger strike to protest this insanity. Good. We'll come back in a month and pick up your emaciated corpse. Well, wait a minute. Cuddles is right. It's beneath us to compete. What? Well, just think. I mean, if we don't compete, they'll have to declare a tie, and then we split the dough. We all win. Say, that's a great idea. What a mature attitude. <laughs> Put her there, pals. <laughs> 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 Good morning, happy campers. Say, Rocco, I thought we'd agreed that none of us will compete. Yeah, you know, I've never felt such uh, cooperation between us. Uh-huh. Well, uh, just one little thing. Why did you take out a gushy ad in the newspaper? Oh, that. It's, uh, simple. I figured if we weren't competing, I'd be able to pull way ahead. You <laughs> double-crossing bastard! Nice sentiment, Rocco. Thanks, Bill. Not as nice as my two-page tribute to Dan. Damn you, Bill! <laughs> Please, go on. Your curses are music to my ears. Bastard! <laughs> Bill, beautiful two-page ad. 20 points. <laughs> Buttons, a card to the family. 10 points. Cool. And Rocco, yours was the most tasteful display. Wow. You leap ahead with... Two thousand points. What? <laughs> You're a beautiful guy, Portnoy. So are you, Rocco, old buddy. How are you enjoying your Porsche? It's a smooth ride, baby. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> well, uh, I'll see you guys later. I got to admit, you're clever, Rocco. You didn't see that one coming. All's fair in love and war, Bill. Yeah, too bad Portnoy isn't quite so clever. Yeah, why's that? He doesn't check under his hood. Huh? Hmm? Oh, what's that? Sounds like it's a dead heat again. Okay, <laughs> Bill. You killed my boy. You want all-out war, pal? You got it. I will crush you in this contest. I don't care what it costs me. Hey, guys, is this an emergency? What? Yeah. Because Portnoy gave me this videotape to play in case of an emergency.